Uh, welcome to my sheets. I'm Rhonda, and this is my co-host, Susan Rose. Hey, y'all. <laughs> well, thank you for coming to the show today. We've got a great lineup for you. First of all, we have to welcome to the show animal trainer extraordinaire, Miss Corky Miller. Woo! Yay. <laughs> and she brought some babies, it looks like. She right. did bring some babies. And we're also bringing back to the show Marvin West. Hi. <laughs> Marvin was was with us earlier this uh, season, but I was out on tour and I missed the, the uh, episode. So I'm back to join him and uh, our new guest that we have on the show now. <laughs> hey. Corgi, tell us about your babies that you got with you. Well, these two little guys, this is Boomer and that's Blaze over oh, there. And uh, we've decided I'm Marlon Perkins and he's Jim Fowler. <laughs> uh, but uh, these guys, uh, I do a little bit of rescue, I do a little bit of training. And believe it or not, ferrets are one of the most given back little animals that have. Because everybody thinks, oh, they're so dang cute. And they've done really good with dissenting these animals. But except when they poop. The poop stinks. Like, you know <laughs> right away you got a ferret in your house. And I mean, for these guys, they're just pretty gross. So people get them and they're pretty good for a couple of weeks. And then they're like, oh, no, it's not for me. So I always tell everybody, if you're going to get a pet, make sure that you get a pet that you really understand. So you can give them a forever home. So we're going to give them a forever home. Susan promised to come out and clean cages every day. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yay, Susan. Yay, Yay. They have litter boxes. Thank you, Susan. <laughs> they do. Nick I want a ferret. They're so cute. They were, were in the, sleep. They were in the, <laughs> Marvin, the, uh, uh, the whisperer, whisperer over there. Whisperer. Yeah, the ferret so. whisperer over there. These guys were in a TV show with uh, Billy Ray Cyrus uh, oh. that was filmed for two seasons in Nashville called Still the King. It got canceled this year. Wah, wah, wah. Oh. Uh, I don't know why. It was about an 80s guy who had a single hit. That was I awful, really you know, it. off the wall. How did we come up with that? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't a writer. I was just the animal wrangler. Yeah, so, well, now, how many <laughs> ferrets do you have? I, I just have these two. Ferrets, you, all that's right. it. All right. Okay. Now, so you train animals for like TV and movies right? and stuff. Movie, what else have you done? Which I've other done, ones? Uh, like Groundhog Day and. I've worked with Oprah Winfrey, May Angelo, and Robert De Niro, and uh, oh my gosh. Training them or the animals with them? Uh, yeah, well, all the time. I, I, hey, I tell everybody I'll train everything but men and boys. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> well yeah. Look yeah, at Wiley Marvin. There's, no, there's no hope for that. Yeah. <coughs> wah, wah, wah. wah, wah. <laughs> you can see some of our trained animals this season in the new magic show starring Darren Romeo at the Smoky Mountain Opry. Tigers? So, lions, tigers, and bears? Tigers. Lions, tigers, uh, and bears. Oh, I'm going to give you away <laughs> all the surprises that we're going to have, but there's going to be some amazing animals in the show. On the ferrets? And, and humans. Oh, and humans. Oh, wow. <laughs> so now you have tigers also? I do. I have tigers and lions. No bears. Oh my. No bears. Oh, my. Yeah. But Smoky Mountain's got plenty of bears. Right? I, yeah. I sleep with a Siberian lynx every night. Uh -huh. Yeah. True story. Yeah. yeah. I've seen him wrapped around your head and your yeah, neck. And he, he likes to sleep on my head like most puts cats. Puts his paw over your face. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. nothing like 4 o'clock in the morning having a 50-pound cat fall over on you and go... Pow. Yeah. Tell us about Groundhog Day. Oh, Groundhog Day. Well, <laughs> it's a really interesting story. I started out with, uh, I had a, got a call from Columbia Films, and when you get a call from Columbia Films, you just say yes. And they said, do you have any groundhogs? I didn't have a groundhog. I'd never had a groundhog, but I said yes. And they said, we need some groundhogs for a movie. We're going to film at Woodstock, Illinois. We're going to start in February. This was probably mid-November. I said, no problem. We can do that. I hang up from Columbia Films, start calling all my friends. I ended up with like 30 groundhogs. And here's what I learned about groundhogs. They're really mean and they bite really hard. So out of all the groundhogs, we got about four that were work and you could handle, you know? And so the scene where uh, Bill Murray's holding uh, the groundhogs on the steering wheel, believe it or not, I'm sitting between Bill Murray's legs holding the groundhog on the steering wheel. Now, I was a lot smaller then. I mean, it was almost 30 years ago, so I was tiny wow. and, the, and I fit down there, you know, it was all good. But it was an empty car on the back of a trailer with all the camera equipment on the trailer. Everything was being towed down the road. And those scenes where 
uh, like he says, don't drive angry. Well, groundhogs have a tension span of a hamster, which is zero. So they would work for about five minutes and then they would start to get pissed off. And we changed the groundhog. But this particular time, I'm holding the groundhog and the groundhog's going, yee! And Bill Murray's going, don't drive angry. He's ad-libbing, you know. And then he goes, look in your mirror, side to side, side to side. And they kept all that in the film. So it was really fun. First day I met Bill Murray, he said, oh, you're the ugly rat wrangler. And I said, where do you put the comma? <laughs> but he was really fun to work with. He knew everybody's name. He was really cool. He's a super nice guy. You know, I had a lot of fun. No, we where were. are you originally from? I live... Um, Born in North Carolina, raised in the hills. I'm a hillbilly. Hillbilly? True, you can tell. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so how long have you been living in this area? I moved here in uh, 2007 to do a magic show for Fee Hedrick, and I've been working for them for a little over 10 years now. Well, that's amazing. Now, are the Tigers and Lions here in Sevier County? They are. It's a secret rendezvous. Oh. So we can't go hang those. out, pet them, pet the kids. Kitty, 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 kitty. Pet them. So. Oh, that's no good. I know. <laughs> yeah. so. I want to snuggle with the kitty. I know. Everybody does. What's the baby's names? This is Boomer, and that's Baby. I mean, Blaze. <laughs> Blaze. <laughs> He's Baby. He's Baby. Oh, He's Baby. He's Baby. <laughs> <laughs> Marvin, you act like you've... Uh, I, was in, I was in Baby Driver. Is that count? <laughs> I think Marvin has a new friend. I, I was going to say, he's I a new Marvin's ferret made wrangler. A new friend. The yeah. ferret whisperer. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's learned a new a trait for his new movie he might want to be in. Yeah. There you now, you know, Ma now. Marvin, uh, <laughs> would you be in here? Oh, you have three movies coming out this year that you've been in. What are those? I do. I've got uh, Game Night coming out in February. And then uh, it's now called Blockers. It was originally called The Pact. It'll be out in April. And then The Last Full Measure will be out sometime next year or this year, but I'm not sure of the release date yet. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, now, do you think Corky could give you some pointers on maybe how to act <laughs> during your movie? <laughs> well, you know, I, I, grew, I grew up with Kel Burnett, and, and her, her thing was never work with children or animals. And All right. <laughs> one of the most classic scenes is her and the horse. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so. <laughs> that's right. Well, I heard a rumor that we have an extra special guest well, on the show. We do have an extra special guest. Well, hmm. I, tell you, well, I tell you what, while you're getting that, let's ask Marvin a question. I got a question oh. for Marvin. Okay. Can I have one of these? <laughs> well, not with the other. Oh, oh not with the other special guest. Another animal might use it as a Scooby snack. Well, another that. special guest. <laughs> these are just tasty treats for our next. Oh. Baby. Well, Marvin, while she's getting our next guest, I got another question for you. Who did you work with on these three movies? In Game Night, uh, the lead actor was Jason Bateman, which hopefully the, the scene doesn't get cut. I'm in a scene with him. And then uh, the pact was um, the wrestler guy. Uh, <laughs> oh, that guy! Yeah, yeah, everybody knows him. Uh, the, yeah, the, the, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, last week I, I had tea with him. Belt, yeah, yeah uh, that guy. That guy. <laughs> uh, it was it was one of those deals where you know I didn't really know any of the named actors in it, but. Uh, Last Full Measure, uh, I got to meet and hopefully be in the scene with uh, Christopher Plummer, Academy wow. Award winner uh, from The Sound of Music, Captain Von Trapp. Wow. Yeah. Well, that I think our amazing. next guest might be even top all those that you've met. Really? Yeah. Miss Corky? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and we welcome to the set, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, that is a cat on steroids. Oh, I want the no. kitty. Corky, what kind of baby? What kind of... Uh, My baby's now loose killing people in the studio. <laughs> well, <laughs> what kind of cat is that, Corky? Oh, he had the third. A wild one, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like Johnny Carson there for a second. Well, baby man, been here to you know what? Arms. If you'd done better on your audition, maybe uh, or like she wouldn't have run here. off. Maybe she wouldn't run off. She's like, what's going audition. on? Where's my dressing room? I mean, <laughs> okay, seriously. Get her over here. That's okay. She might be back with us later, but at least we got a quick view of her. What do you think about that? She's a big no, we're back. She's just a pretty baby. It's okay. Gotta have her baby. Own seat. She's there you oh, go. See, hey, baby. little diva has to have her own chair. That's right. She's just like the rest of us. She's I believe. a superstar, just That's like Mikey. Oh, just there we go. No. There we go. Look at oh. that. Now is Baby in shows too? She is. She'll be in the Magic Show this year, along with her counterpoint Foose. 
and she is an older cat. You wouldn't know it by the speed, but uh, she's 18 years old. She's wow. 18? Yep, and I've oh, had her, I had her since, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. I, I've had her since she was a tiny <coughs> little baby. I actually was given to me by Florida Fish and Wildlife. Oh. Uh, somebody had her down there and didn't have the proper permits. And uh, they would let her outside just like a house cat. Oh, geez. And the neighbor picked her up one day, and he happened to know the warden, and the and the warden found out who it belonged to, and said, "We well, have to have a permit." And I'm not supposed to, but I'd actually called them and said, "Hey, I'll help you get your permit." But they never put any effort in. So when the court case came, they didn't show up. So they just awarded them to me. So I've had Aww. them ever since. So. That's so awesome. Her. That's a that's a great story. So yeah. you actually yeah. rescue a lot of yeah, animals that people are you know illegally right. have not supposed to have or mm -hmm. you know. And I used to do a lot more of it. Now I say I I'm more like assist rescue because my my inn is full. Well, people know, don't realize them. that that these are not mm -hmm. domestic animals. You can't just take them home with you like you do a cat or a dog. Yeah, or, I mean there's right. there's a lot of animals that you have that have to have permits. I mean right, exactly. And and the other thing about it is they're not. I mean, she is an exception for a serval cat. She's pretty docile, but the other one that I have, he's he's not like this at all. You know, he's and people think, you know, the novelty of it is what gets them to want it. And then, of course, she has all her claws and all her teeth. I don't I don't take any of their claws or teeth. I feel like if you can't handle them with claws and teeth, you shouldn't have them. It's probably not a good pet. If the first thing you got to do is defang them or declaw them, then you shouldn't be handling that animal. Right. Um, so, uh, and you know, they they she will use a litter box, but they can spray too, and it's not it's not pretty, you know. So you have to you have to be prepared for whatever you're going to have, and you make concessions, you know, uh, to have them. You know, you have special areas for them and really big litter boxes, <laughs> and uh, uh -huh. you know, and you don't have a lot of friends, and you're single. Oh wow! Yeah. Well, you know, we so do appreciate. Do I have to be on the end that sprays? Is that <laughs> we appreciate you all coming out on the show yes, thank today. Thank you so much. Thank you for bringing baby and the other two babies and, and great. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Thank you all for staying in and seeing us here on MISU's. I'm Rhonda. And I'm Susan Rose. And we'll see you next time. And keep climbing those mountains and finding that sunshine behind the clouds. Seem to stop time, you make me feel like I'm